my name is Hans de Witt. I am professor uh, of internationalization of higher education at the Amsterdam University of Applied Science in the Netherlands, but also I am professor and director of the Center for Higher Education and Internationalization at the Catholic University Sacra Cora in Milan, Italy. The common space for me is that uh, higher education in the world is not only increasingly more interconnected, because the world the, we live in, the global knowledge society we are part of, is more connected and higher education is playing a very important role in that. And each university cannot do that on its own. So they, we have to collaborate, we have to look at our joint strengths, our commonalities, but also our complementarity in creating an environment in which our students, our faculty, our administrators are all connected in a kind of way to help the university to become really an international higher education institution. The balances in my view are that both research and teaching is much more directed to helping the world uh, help out the problems to solve which are global problems. We increasingly are in a world which has a joint common problems in the climate, in the environment, in health, in, uh, uh, in poverty and universities have to play a role in that and also in the private sector our students have to be really prepared to work in an international environment and a common place creates that opportunity that students and faculty are prepared for the future of our world. At the moment my three main focuses are we have to move away from a very quantitative approach to how many students we send out, how many students we receive, how many programs we teach in English, how many programs we can have in a more quantitative way to a much more qualitative approach to internationalization. Uh, looking at what is the impact of what we are doing, what is the, the outcome for the students, what is the outcome for the faculty, that is very central as a main point. And in that it means that we have to move a little bit away from the focus on mobility to the focus on the curriculum and the teaching and learning of our students. Learning outcomes as a key factor and the involvement of faculty in that is the central point for the future of internationalization. Yes, I think very important is that we make more use of the technology that we have. Uh, internationalization not necessarily means that students have to go abroad for a semester or a year. You can also work together with students from other countries, from other regions, by the internet, and the faculty can work together, and in that create a virtual environment in which uh, international and intercultural communication and collaboration between students and faculty can uh, take place. Not as a replacement of the physical mobility of students and staff, but as an added value to make the internationalization of our curriculum and the learning outcomes of our students much better. I think that we as Europeans, like also is the case with uh, people from Australia and from uh, Northern uh, America, in particular from the United States and uh, from Canada, we have to learn from your experience here in Mexico and the rest of Latin America as we have to learn from Asia and from Africa. Uh, internationalization is a global thing and not something which only has to come from the European side or from the Northern American side. So what brings me here is to learn how the Mexicans are doing it, how the Colombians are doing it, how the Chileans are doing it, and that gives me a new kind of perspective on internationalization of higher education. I think that uh, you have to continue working in the way you're working, making it a, a common place where international educators from uh, Latin America and from Northern America uh, meet each other and discuss best practices, good experiences, and also invite people from other parts of the world to be part of that uh, experience. So make it really uh, to continue as an international experience with a focus on Latin and North America.